What up, nerds? I think I'm going to reshoot this intro because, uh, as you will see from the video, I didn't manage to actually get myself in shot. Uh, doing things in a hurry. It's early in the morning. Just enjoy the content. Anyway, we're going to be looking at open back HT25. What? 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 Good morning. Today we're going to revisit something which I did many years ago. We're going to do a quick one, and I'll show you why. But anyway, we're going to going to make open back HT25. So there's bajillions of HT25s out there. People have already got them. And not many people realize that with a little bit of footling, you can turn them into open backs for a slightly different sound. Uh, so we're going to do that. But I'll show you why we've got to be quick because uh, yeah, I haven't had much time to shoot videos recently. Um, it's because you lot keep buying stuff. So let's, uh, let's have a quick tour and you can see the, the, what, what, we're, what we're dealing with. Oh uh, yeah, sorry about the sound. I don't have a remote mic. Got our UV printer in here, which is our new toy, which we're still kind of figuring out how to turn into money. We're hoping to have a laser sintering machine in there soon. But yes, this is the this is the problem. That's just the queue for bear dynamics. Got a similar queue for cables and a similar queue for Sennheisers. So at the moment, oh, we've run off our feet, so I haven't got much time to shoot kind of complex videos. Let's go over here. Ooh, let's have a look in here. So we've got new workstation. We've also got this render motron, which is really super cool. It's got like, I don't know, 32 cores, 32 gigs of RAM. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. You can render stuff quite nicely. Let's grab some, let's grab some HD25s. Okay, so you see why I'm being slightly hasty here. I need to get a video shot. Ideally, I can't do too many at the moment, but uh, I've also really should be making stuff. <laughs> if I do this quickly now before the team get in, no one will know. No one will know. So I'll just start by opening these up. Now there's lots of videos on dismantling the HD25s, so if you're not sure how to do that, I'm sure you can find something, but essentially we're gonna remove the cable. Remove the ear pad by putting your finger underneath and take that off. And we're going to remove the driver. And on the new ones, as you may have seen on some of my other videos, don't press on the back bit anymore. You lever it up from underneath. Now, luckily, I shot a video with HD25 last week and we took some readings. And it was this exact pair that was on the, the video. So what we'll do is we'll make these open back and then we'll take some more readings. So these ones have got our mass loading and damping kit on. Certainly has on this side. So so better do it on both sides. Oh, it doesn't really matter. We can just measure one one ear cap. So we're gonna remove this again. Just work my way around and pop in the little clips that are in there with a flathead screwdriver. So essentially, these are now open back. You've got they're not closed back anymore, and these will fit back together like that. So let's put the pads on first because it's a bit easier while the drivers are off. Now it's probably worth experimenting with different pads as well because changing these to open back you might want a velour pad or something. It's difficult, we'll have to have a look. But yeah, there's a lot of tuning that can be done with the with the pads. Uh, okay, and let me just slide those back onto the headband, pop the doohickeys back in the thingamabobs. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, put it on the wrong side. You know when you try and do a quick video and uh, you, you just mess up? Well, this is this is that thing. But hang around, we're going to take some measurements and I'm going to have a good old listen. And I'm going to grab some other ones and we'll have a compare. It's on, cable clamp on, just doing a neat job. Yeah, so uh, the HD25s are based on, probably you can trace their history back to the 414, which were open back. No reason this shouldn't work. Obviously you're not going to get the isolation but you might get better sound staging. So there we go. We have an open back pair of Sennheiser HD25s. Let's plug them into the rig and take some measurements. Okay, so what I've done is I've opened up our measurements that we took last week 
And I did notice I had to adjust the volume slightly. We gained a couple of decibels by pulling the backs off, but I've adjusted it in line with the original ones so we get a, a proper comparison. Uh, let us measure. Okay, start measuring. Just as a lorry goes past. Uh, hold on. Everyone in Cheltenham, be quiet for a second. Let's do this thing. Okay, so here we go. Um, so mid-range, but that's where it's kind of balanced for. We try and get them all to be the same, about 300 hertz, so you can compare them. Uh, so bass response is pretty similar in the open version, and then you get a bit of a, a roll off here, and then again you've got your spike there. So it's kind of less spiky in the top end, but it's not not as flat. So it will be interesting to have a bit of a of a listen and see how, how that changes things. Right, let's have a good old listen. Right, uh, yeah, interesting. I think I'm gonna try some velour pads on these. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone and grabbed some velour. Uh, There's a Yaxi brown velours because you did get better sound staging. Like it sounded more open and less like it was in, coming from inside your head, which was good. But you seem to get a lot of bass and not a lot of treble. Which is surprising, I would have thought the closed back would be more bassy. But you just got a lot of, um, yeah, you're missing a bit of treble with this. So the lure pads tend to have the opposite effect. So you get reduced bass, which means that you can hear the mids and trebles better. And the mids are already good on these, so I don't know. It just, just, just thought I'd give it a quick, quick listen and see if that is a thing. Yeah. No, that is it. That's kind of brought it back in line. So, open back, the lure pads. I know this isn't something that most people are very interested in, but there's thousands of the, the probably millions of HD25s out there. And a lot of people won't have really played with open back headphones, so it's a chance to kind of do that. And if you've got the Plus version or the older, the older Pro version, they would have come with the lure pads in the box. So, you can try that out. I'm just going to take some measurements with the velour pads just to see if that kind of brings it back in line. All right, yeah. Um, oh, I'll stick that, stick that up here. All right. So as you can see, kind of flatten things off a bit. Closed versus open HD25s, and as you can see, we've got pretty, you know, it's pretty flat, pretty flat. Less peaks up in the treble, doesn't roll off in the bass as much, and you get that open kind of feeling. So this this mod is with our mastering and damping kit and some velour pads. Now I'm not saying it's a sensible mod, you know, it's not I can't see people walking around wearing these like this, but you know, it's an interesting experiment and if you've got some at home and you've got some velour pads, you can have a little listen to uh, to what they're like as an open back. So uh, I've had a bit more of a listen to these because I got a bit excited and uh, yeah, there, there's there's potential there. I think this could be a thing. I think it needs just a little bit more tweaking. There's uh, yeah, adding the velour pads brought that bass nicely in line and the treble, so we got a relatively flat response. I think the the thing that would take these to the next level is some bigger pads, maybe that went around your ears. So what I'm thinking is maybe I might make some adapters so you can fit the bigger biodynamic pads on these and then have a listen again. Uh, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, stick a comment and I know I'll probably get around to doing it. But yeah, I think there's, there's definitely potential there. Like the HC 20 vibes have always like punched way above their weight and sounded better than they really should do for the money. And I think Project open back HD 25 might be a thing. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, uh, loving your work.